Thought you was fat, now you all never gotta go. Yeah, I told him to drop the jewels on him. You gotta go through this shit here with your. So Mel is doing interviews, okay? She is booked and busy back to back. I've been seeing her a lot this week doing interviews, talking about her different businesses, skincare. I am happy for her and she is headed to a new level. She is booked and busy, okay? I want to get into her interview with Didi in the morning. A couple clips that I thought was interesting, talking about her kids, talking about how she enjoyed enjoys being alone, how she feels like she isn't needs to get married again i want y'all to check this video out that she did with Didi in the morning and let me know what you think in the first clip she's talking about how her kids are in therapy at the end of the day they are the victims to the situation they're innocent right and i don't want them to be overlooked so i have them in therapy um they do therapy when they're with me um they love doing therapy they're like mom is Miss Dominique oh, coming nice. this week is she coming because they actually talk to her and they open up and they feel comfortable so they she's created that safe space for them mm -hmm. and I want them to feel like they have more than just me that love them and that they can talk to right in, in a safe space so I have them in therapy I make sure that I've made sure that um the level of living that they were used to and accustomed to that there hasn't been change with Good. that. So mm -hmm. I still take them. I, ever since I've left, I've still been taking them on their trips to Destin, nice. to Opryland, and doing Good. my part. You know I'm so happy that the kids are going to therapy. I myself want to go to therapy. I think it's great to have somebody to talk to. You can't keep everything inside. And, and they're young. They're going through a lot. They're on TV. Um, their parents are divorced. In this next clip, she talks about how it's okay to be alone. Um, environments maybe where both parents weren't in the home. So one of the things for me that I did after I walked away from my marriage was I've spent more time alone than I've spent alone my whole life. Oh, and that was because I was determined to overcome any abandonment issues that I had. Because a lot of times as women, we'll stay in situations because we don't want to be alone, mm -hmm. right? Um, and so I was determined that for whatever God has for me for the future, I don't want to still have that issue to where I'm willing to stick in something that I know ain't right. Mm -hmm. So I will tell any person, take time to heal, mm -hmm. take time to get to know yourself, take time to love yourself. <clears throat> I take trips by myself all the time out of the country and all. Too, and I go I by to. myself. And it's amazing. I got to be honest. That's what I did before I got married. I was really I thought I would never get married, actually. And I was okay with it, right? Yeah. I was like, look, I'm good. Um, life is good for me. Uh -huh. I'm blessed. And I got <laughs> yeah. family. I can travel. And I always tell people that. I'm like, I always tell women, be by yourself. Get yeah. to know yourself. Love yourself first. You know what I mean? Have that relationship with yourself first and depend on you. Now, on this next clip, we find out if she still loves Martell. I'm, I'm just going to be honest. You still love that man? No, but I'm going to be honest, though. You do love him, though. No, but I'm going to be honest. You have honest, to love him because he's the father of your children. I'm going to be honest. How would you think she still has love for this man after everything he's been putting her through? I'm happy for her. God said go. Okay. And I cannot wait for this next episode that airs in September. Make sure y'all watch. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed. I'll be posting more videos. I love a marriage Huntsville. Bye, guys.